evaluating the on ice product, I think you're going to look at things, and this is a big thing with people. We've talked about it. We mentioned to them here compete levels. Okay, what is that? What does compete? You can say what compete mean. What, what compete is well compete is something you have to feel as well it, it's going to be how hard do you battle for a puck if you lose that battle what happens then are you are you do you quit or not come back hard do you want to be first to a puck or are you going to slow up and, and not get there even when you have the puck are you willing to to still be aggressive with it in that type of nature so competition is one big um, element especially when you're faced against any type of adversity so I'm 5'8 going up against a six foot two player Am I going to back out of it, or am I still going to whack a stick and use what tools that I have to be able to battle for a puck? Um, second part is play away from the, the puck and watching what a player does away. So when they, they jump on the ice for the first shift, are they just sort of lollygagging? Are they boom right there? Is it hard right to the end of the bench? Do they stay active away from the puck, um, or are they do they put themselves in a position to be involved with the play. Those type of things. And then you're going to be looking at what the decisions that they make with the puck. Are they making good decisions in certain areas of the ice? I think that you can evaluate skating, you know, puck handling and stuff very quickly just by watching it. But it's those, those intangible pieces are things that you have to really pay a little bit more attention to.